Hello my friends, today I'm gonna show you how I made this huge future house draw from my new ADM sample pack. If you buy the sample pack you'll get this FLP project file as well as 5 more FLPs and a lot of samples and serum presets. The link to the sample pack is in the description. Okay guys, when I began making this track, I wanted to create an emotional drop with a very dominant lead, so I started by creating some emotional chords. Then I made a lead melody on top. When I was making the melody, I made the notes go very high and low, which usually makes for a more emotional melody. So at that point I had a solid melody, but I still had to make a lead with a lot of power in order for the song to work. Luckily I had access to my new ADM sample pack, making this very easy. I just used a serum lead preset from the pack, playing the lead melody. I wanted to make the lead as big as possible, so I added some more lead presets on top. The serum presets in the pack are designed to be able to stack on top of each other to make them even more powerful. Alright guys, at this point I had a decent sounding lead, but I wanted it to be more powerful, so I added some mixing effects to push the lead to its limits. I started with some compression using OTT, then I added an EQ cleaning up some of the ugly frequencies created by the OTT, some compression and distortion using Camel Crusher, another EQ to clean it up a bit, some more distortion with Fruity Fast Dist, EQ, a soundizer to add some more power, and an EQ for some final touches. Lastly I added a Fruity Stereo Shaper with a bit of delay to make the lead a bit wider. This my friends is what the lead sounded like before the mixing. And this is with the mixing effects. I also added this pitch automation on the lead to make it a bit more emotional. I also added an automation panning the lead from left to right. After that I added a reverb and controlled it with this reverb automation. I also added these synth shots to fill out this pause in the lead even more than just the reverb. This is without the synth shots. And this is with. Nice. Now that we have a complete lead, we still have to make a really fat bass and some fat chords in order to make the drop powerful. I'm gonna show you how I did that, but first, I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. I have a lot of exciting videos planned. Okay guys, so my mission was to make a fat bass line that would give power to the lead. I started by creating a bass line that had quite a similar rhythm to the lead, and I used the serum preset from my sample pack. <laughs> Then I wanted to make the bass bigger, so I added some different sounding serum presets from the sample pack. After that I added two growl presets from the pack on top. Playing these growl notes. That sounded decent enough, but I wanted the bass to have a lot more punch, so I added some nice mixing effects. I began by mixing the mid-bass layers. I started with an EQ removing a lot of the harsh high frequencies so the bass wouldn't clash with the lead. After that I added compression with OTT, then an EQ to clean it up a bit. Some compression and distortion using Camel Crusher, EQ, a soundizer to add some more punch and power. And lastly a couple more EQs to clean up the bass a bit more. This guys is what the mid-bass sounds like without the mixing effects. And this is with. After that I mixed the sub bass layer, I took it from this, to this, by adding some distortion, OTT, sound judizer, and an EQ. After that I added a pitch automation for the bass to make it sound more interesting. I also added some stab layers on top.
playing these stab notes. This is what it sounds like without the stabs. And this is with. Then I added this synth shot with a cutoff automation to fill in this pause in the melody. Guys, to complement the bass line and make it sound more full, I knew I had to make some distorted and big chords. I made these chords and used the Serum Chord preset from the sample pack. Then I added two more chord presets on top. Guys, I wanted to make the chords really dirty and distorted so they could add a lot of energy to the drop. I started by shaping the chords with an EQ. After that I added compression using OTT and a couple more EQs. Some distortion and compression using Camel Crusher, EQ, Sound Judizer, and a couple more EQs. And lastly I added a fruity stereo shaper to make the chords really wide in the mix. This is what the chords sound like without the mixing effects. And this is with the mixing effects. I also added this white noise layer on top of the chords to add a bit more energy. This my friends is what the bass and chords sound like together. Nice. Now that I had completed all of the melodic elements, I added some nice drums and effects from the sample pack. I started with a kick. After that I added a couple short stabs that hit on every other kick to add some impact to the drum beat. Then some drop claps. A pre-shift clap. And some percussion sounds. After that I added a couple more sounds to add some ear candy. And lastly a couple downlifters. Finally I was done with the drop guys. Before I show you the full drop I would truly appreciate it if you checked out the new sample pack. Link is in the description. If you get the pack you will get 6 FLPs, 280 samples, and 150 serum presets. All made for future house, bass house, slap house, and deep house. If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.